So you've got all this gorgeous fabric, incredible designs, but you're not actually sewing. You are stuck, bored, unmotivated, can't seem to get yourself going despite having all this delicious lace, inspiring patterns, dream creations. You're just in a rut. I've got four ways to unstick yourself and they have nothing to do with sewing and they're all free. Free, they're all free. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first, the key to sewing more may be with your feet. That's right, do not click out, but I'm talking about exercise. However, I'm talking about it in a way different way than most people talk about it. It can be a two minute walk. It can be a wall sit for 10 seconds. It doesn't matter where your level of fitness is right now. But using the body to reset your mind is a powerful way to regain control of yourself. So really, it's not about the duration or the level of intensity, but instead about using your body to reset your mind, leveraging into your body as a way of moving your mind and yourself forward. You'll raise your dopamine, which has a wonderful spiraling effect. And now you're off to hunting those designs. You're in the mode. You've got it going. Like it's, it's, it's going right. Like, and it was just a 10 seconds of jumping jacks or just a walk around your neighborhood. It, it wasn't anything crazy. And here's the key that may change the way you view exercise. You get to you get to do these movements, either you're in a fully able body or not, whatever movements, movements you were able to do, you get to do them. It's not a chore, it's a privilege. And another mindset shift, you are trading these 30 seconds of running in place for a refreshed mind. How you like them apples, right? Like you're okay trading your, you know, $5 for a milkshake. Why not trade 30 seconds of a wall sit for a refreshed mind? Like, wow, right? So instead, it's not about an hour long weight session or going for a 20 minute mile, but instead looking at exercise and very, very bite sized small snacks as a way for a reset. I do this all the time when I'm bored of editing videos happens all the time I get bored of editing videos. I will get up and I will just do a handful of push-ups, like five, on my knees, nothing crazy. Or I will run in place for 30 seconds. It's something, it's something just super easy, it's simple, it's free, powerful. The next method is also very powerful and actually it may be more powerful than the thir first, than the first method. Breathing. I know you may be confused. And I don't claim to be like an expert at any of this, okay, at any of this. It just works for me. But what I'm trying to say is the mechanisms behind this I think are complex. So I have no idea why it works. I'm just telling you though, it does work. There are many different styles of breathing. They are all free, <laughs> obviously. And again, it only takes a few seconds and you will feel like a totally new, rejuvenated person. So one style I like for a refresh is to breathe in and out a few times, in and out, in and out, in and out. And then I breathe in and hold for a long time. Like, not till I'm, I mean, you're not going to be able to pass yourself out, but you're going to feel like, like you're going to start to feel like agitated, like you would like to have some fresh air come, come in again, right? At that point, then I start to breathe normally. And I believe this is called the Wim Hof style, named after Mr. Wim Hof himself. And it may sound so simple and silly, but it is simple and effective. Two other things, water and sleep. They're important. Now, if you've done all of these things and you're still struggling to get your dream creations together, go check out this video where I give away so many tangible pieces to making your dreams, your sewing dreams, a reality. If you have any questions, of course, put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.